Right then, so setup wise, I say you look a little bit taller on that right hand one in fairness. Your head's sort of a bit more up off your chest, so not sort of hunched down quite so much. But generally speaking, your setup was good. Just had a tendency to be a little more kind of leaning on this left side, okay? okay. Yeah, a bit sort of hunched on that left side, but maybe just sort of trying to hit down on the ball potentially. I don't know. But we want to try and feel a little bit more on your right side. When you, you start, that's going to where you return back to, yeah. and then you move there. So that little movement there, sort of see your shadow move in there. That's where you want it to be. And that feels to you quite a long way to the right. But your head is just behind the golf ball there, as we can see. The ball position is just under your sort of left chest logo there. And your weight effectively is kind of 50-50. Okay. So left, left, yeah. My left side your left side, yeah. Be in line that's where the ball, ball position would be there, yeah. So roughly so where you've got it. Behind it. Slightly behind the golf I ball, need yeah. To have equal distribution on both feet. 50-50, yeah, yeah, roughly. Okay. It might feel initially like not, you're... Yeah. I'm on your right one. side, that's yeah. what you feel to you. But if you actually look at that position there now, if I said to them, oh, which side this person leaning, you wouldn't go, oh, definitely leaning over here somewhere. But that's what it feels like to you at the moment, yeah? But you wouldn't look at that image and go, well, he's definitely way on that right side. Whereas the ones before, when you're kind of back here, there was a little bit more, he looks a little bit more kind of this side yeah, a yeah. little bit. So that felt kind of 50-50. So now we've moved you off that in this direction, which is why it feels the other way, okay? But just in terms of the swing, okay, because of that weight on the left side now, as you went back, you can see your knee, as you're practicing, even the real thing, you can see your knee kind of going forwards towards the golf ball and your back swing length now quite short and quite narrow, okay? So from that position there now, you've done two things, okay? You've narrowed the length of your swing, which means you're going to top the golf ball, or miss it completely, yeah. but you've also gone down and nearer the golf ball. So those two rounds can make it right. If you if you say stood, I don't know, a metre and a half from the golf ball, and you've gone down I don't know, a quarter of a metre, mm. but you've bent your arms sufficient enough to narrow or shorten the width of your swing by a quarter of a metre, the club comes back to the golf ball perfectly. There's a lot of variation going on in that, and again, yeah. when you come back down, you then got to straighten that leg and try and straighten your arms, so you're kind of popping up to the shot here now, quite a lot of head movement going up, not really used to kind of twisting and moving in this direction, you kind of go more in that direction. Mm -hmm. As you said, I feel my left leg straightening. Well, it was, yeah. But why was it straightening? Because it was bending too much in the first place, yeah? Mm -hmm. Caused by the setup. So that was your backswing there. This is now your backswing now, okay? So hence the reason why you're hitting the golf club a bit on the outside. Look how much more width this swing will sort of generate when you go back. Is that there? So you've turned your shoulders. Your back's now facing target, the knee's gone in, your hands are a little higher here now above your head, okay? It's a much fuller, wider, longer swing. But you're used to now being there, so you've almost got to try and reach out for the golf ball. But as you see through him, but you're sort of moving a bit more to your left, okay? And then you sort of start standing up, which you will do, rather than it being from here and going straight. Your head's got to go and straight up and down. There's not much, there's no shift there at all, really, in terms of your weight. It's kind of, I've gone onto my left knee and stood up. Whereas this one, what's your head and body move? Is the movement to the left side, yeah? See that there? So you see where your head is there and your body. You're definitely moving from here in that direction as you come down, yeah? See your body moving there? So you're moving on to that left side, which if I said you throw a ball, you do that fairly naturally. You sort of come back here, I'm going to move that. You wouldn't go yeah. and do that, yeah? Mm. And that's why at the moment, for the most part, you're catching the outside part of the club because you're hitting the heel of the golf club, this part, because your club is moving further away from you, yeah? You're used to the club kind of coming back in quite narrow and being close to the golf ball, and you make adjustments to that. Yeah. If we can eliminate the need to adjust every time. It's just like, here's a hammer, here's a nail. Let's have one pivot point yeah. rather than... I'm going to do this, but then straighten my arm. Yeah, yeah. And the hammer changed length midway through. I mean, yeah. it just, okay. it will work occasionally, but from a consistency standpoint, and sort of the things at the start of the lesson, how has it been? Hit and miss. When it's good, really good. When it's bad, yeah. okay? So now we can just try and simply, yeah. I'm finding it harder now than when I was on the range. So on the range, I was getting it <coughs> like 100 yards plus. Yeah, yeah. When, when, it, when you were getting when it, it was good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Straight, but now I'm trying to correct it and yeah. go against what I've been doing. Exactly. But what you'll find, again, when you're down the range, okay, Feel free. I always try and encourage people to do this. It's not sort of just saying, oh, if you want to. I almost say, I'd rather you do it than not. When you're down the range, film some swings and send a through to me and say, look, how does it look? Because you could hit the ball really well, but have five different combinations of movements that are actually sort of clicking. And it'd be like, well, yes, it's good shots, but kind of get to a point where you think, I kind of get to that good. 
and then you're trying to get change. And if you change habits, habits take a lifetime to change yeah. because they take a lifetime to create. Yeah. If you spend a lot of time in golf balls with these variations of sort of going down and up and this way, you'll get it right on occasions, but how well you're going to be con- in terms of consistency, it's all over the place, yeah? yeah? We've got to try and think, okay, I've got to keep my height the same for the most part. I'm going to rotate my body on a fairly even level, even keel, okay? Keep my arm width fairly standard, okay? Okay, swing my arms to my body and come back to the same spot rather than take my body nearer the golf ball, but at the same time then bend my arms yeah, and then try and do this and then try and stand up yeah, and not yeah. straight my leg. It's going to be yeah. all over the place, Jack. You'll get it. I say, you you hit enough golf balls. There's the old thing, even a blind squirrel finds and that. You keep enough golf balls with any method. You'll get de- you'll get better that day. Mm. But is it really improving your golf long term? Mm. And that's the yeah. big thing. So yeah, auntie, please, 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 if you're down the range, ping some videos, show and say, oh yeah, I'm in the ball all right, Gareth. What's it look like? I can say, well, yeah, good. That's good. The setup's a lot better. You're more on your right side. However, <laughs> this is now coming to game. Just be mindful of that kind of adjustment. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, mate. Okay.